Hi everyone, Rick Bray with BT BOCES, and in this video, we'd like to show you a tip that we think will be very useful regarding the Google Chrome browser. So I'm gonna open that now. One thing that will really save you some time moving forward is to be logged into the Chrome browser. It's more than just logging into a Google thing, it's logging into the Chrome browser. Logging into the Chrome browser with your school account will not only save you time by allowing you to bookmark websites and save those passwords, but it also will help you greatly in terms of logging into Google products. It's gonna speed that process up a lot for you. So I've opened the Chrome browser. How do I log into it? Well, you'll notice in the upper right-hand corner is an icon that looks like the silhouette of a person. That is how I know I'm not currently signed into the browser. It's as a guest right now. So if I click on that person, I have the option to sign into Chrome. Now this process is going to ask for our email and our network password a few times. So what I suggest is even if you're a proficient typer, maybe you want to copy your address. So I'll put in my BOCES address, but you would put in your school account, and I'm going to copy that for later use. So I can right click on it and say copy. Evidently I can't right click on it. So maybe you want to do um, control C on your keyboard. With that being done, I'm going to click next. That takes me to a new page where I have to put my email address in again, hence the copying, because now I can paste by hitting Control V. And then I want to click on Next. I forgot to include this in the original recording. Um, at this point, you may or may not get a window that looks like this. And if you do, you want to select Organizational Google Apps Account on the top. This is now the Rick one login process, which you've seen if you've used a Chromebook before. So you want to enter in your appropriate district, hit submit. This will take us to a third and final page where I have to put in my email address for a third and final time. We'll paste it, and then you'll put in your password. Do, 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 do. Let's see, I already typed it in wrong. There we go. And I also suggest clicking remember my username. You end this process by clicking on log in. Now what this is going to do is bring up a pop-up window and you're welcome to read this, but you want to select link data. That's going to take the data from your Google account and link it with this account as opposed to making a new separate one. Uh, some people say, oh, do I need to wait to, for the web page to stop thinking because it's spinning? Nope, that thinking process is waiting for you to click. So again, you just select link data. And now what's going to happen, the first thing you notice, in the upper right-hand corner, it's changed from a person to my name. Now mine is going to switch again, it's going to say Rick Bosies because I've customized it, but yours will probably have your first name as it appears on your email address. And I can say, okay, got it, to start the syncing process. You'll see as this process occurs, bookmarks start showing up. Anything that's saved in my Google account comes into this site, or this account now, this uh, device. So all my bookmarks are here, any saved passwords are here. Uh, life is excellent. Uh, so this is gonna allow you to bookmark and save passwords, which we'll show you how to do that in a later video. Uh, the other thing that it allows is this little rainbow apps here. When I click on that, I'm going to see all the Google products appear. Now it may take a second, so I'm just gonna give it a minute here to finish loading. All right, so now that I've given it a few minutes to load everything in, the more you have, the longer it takes. Uh, again, looking at this rainbow apps waffle, whoops, sorry. Uh, <laughs> what ends up happening when I click on this, all of the Google products that I have show up here. So you can see I have Drive, Docs, Sheets, Slides, Forms, and a few other things that I've added to the list. Here's the benefit. When I click on Google Drive, I don't have to sign into Google Drive like you may have had to in the past. Because I'm logged into the browser, I am immediately in Drive, and that's gonna save you a ton of time. The same goes for Docs, Slides, Sheets, and everything else that's that Google Core product. So there you go. That's how to log into the Chrome web browser and some different ideas as to why you may wanna log, log into the Chrome web browser. If you have any questions on this or anything else, please feel free to reach out to me by email, and thank you for watching.